Welcome to Artificial Routine blog, uh, artificialroutine.com. Uh, on this blog, we talk uh, everything about artificial intelligence. The blog is primarily in Portuguese, but you can change the language to the other available languages. In English, for example, you just switch it to English and you see everything in English. On this video, we're going to configure DeepSeek R1 uh, the easiest and faster way with uh, Olama and anything LLM. So let's get started. First thing, we go to Olama.com. I will do this as quick as possible. You're going to download Olama, select your operating system. So once downloaded and the antivirus uh, checked the, the, f the file, we're going to run it. Olama is a platform that enables users to run large language models, uh, LLMs, uh, basically locally on, on their machines. The faster your machine, the, the better uh, the local LLM will run. So after Olama is installed, the way to check is uh, right here. Make sure the Olama icon is here. So that means it's running on the background. Now the second website is anything LLM.com We're going to download for desktop select the operating system This is very fast, it's the faster way to install your own uh, large language model artificial intelligence just give it a minute so uh, the antivirus check for the downloaded file on my machine windows 11 is giving this uh, protection uh, protected warning saying that the publish is uh, unknown so we're gonna run anyway I'm gonna say everyone that uses the computer can access this, but you can leave it as, as you'd like, only you. Select the directory for the installation, I'm gonna leave it as is. After the installation, just run anything LLM. On the first time you run it, you will get to this screen. So just select Get Started. And here you look for Olama. Just make sure you select just Olama. Okay, so you could not discover the provider endpoint. Please enter it manually. So it means we have not installed the model yet for uh, DeepSeek. So this is how we fix this. Okay, so we're going to go back to Olama. We're going to select the models. So uh, here is DeepSeek. So if, if you don't see it here, you can just search for it here. All right. So once you click on DeepSeek. Now here's the options for the models available. The uh, 671B, it's probably is not going to run on your machine 
Uh, I have a machine that I accepted and it's running fine with the 70B. Uh, I've tried with the 32. For this tutorial, I'm gonna select the the 14B. So it gives me the uh, the uh, script here. So I'm going to type CMD for the command prompt. Hit enter. I'm going to paste it here and run. Uh, whoops. Show read. So so we had an error first time I attempted. Uh, so I basically didn't do anything. So I just check, double check that Olama was running, and I just uh, tried the command prompt again, and then it's working. It's downloading the uh, the the LLM right now. So uh, I'm gonna take this here. So remember, each of these models. Uh, they have uh, a bigger uh, database with, with the training material, the knowledge for the uh, artificial intelligence. So the one we are downloading right now is nine, nine gigabytes. So the 32B is 20 gigabytes, the 70B is 43. So remember we are trying this one. You can also install multiple uh, uh, versions. Okay, so let's go back. Depending on your machine, uh, it takes a few minutes to uh, download and configure. This is the easiest way to to run your own uh, private uh, DeepSeek AI. Okay, so this means it's running. Uh, we're gonna test it here to make sure it's working. Uh, let's just ask to write the, uh, please write a hello world world program. PHP very simple please so here it is it's running very fast as a matter of fact in the uh, my uh, graphics card it's not one of the most uh, expensive ones so as you can see it's running really fast with the model we downloaded so I'm just going to minimize this. So we're going back to uh, LLM preferences. Let's go here. Let's start it again. Remember Olama. It's good actually that we ran through that problem. So you know, this is most likely the problem you would run to. So I'm selecting the DeepSeek 14B. We can always come back here and use other models, but we're going to select this one. Uh, just click until you pass through. I would uh, suggest you to put your email. You're at email.com. This is not creating an account. It's basically a, a feedback. Uh, all right, but I'm going to skip on this case, but I do suggest and just let them know what you're using this for. Remember, this is going to be in your computer. And the first workspace to create the first workspace. So let's call it. Uh, Eduardo private LLM AI. So if you use ChatGPT, this screen is going to be familiar to you.
Now there is uh, one important thing to to explain about uh, deep seek. So deep seek when when you uh, when you ask a question, when you do a query, it will give you a more detailed explanation about what is about to do and what it's about to do it's to answer your query so it will give you a bigger explanation of how to do this basically it will share with you the thinking part of how to accomplish what you requested so let me show you we're going to try the same thing so please write a hello world program in PHP very basic please so like I said it will give you the explanation it would it will share with you the thinking behind you know uh, what it needs to do to to execute the request that you made Okay, so I need to write a hello world program in PHP. I'm just starting out with programming. So I should take it step by step. Again, like I said, it gives you an explanation of uh, what before it gives you the answer. Uh, and here is the code. So, uh, but let's say, let's increment this a little. Uh, please give me the entire code for a HTML web page to use this short program. Remember this is all happening in your local machine. So now it's going to give you the entire page, the entire code. And basically that's it. It's as simple as that. Now remember, the larger the model, the slower it will run. Like I said, I have a, a machine with the, uh, what is the, the graphic card? I think it's the 4080, NVIDIA 4080. That runs okay with uh, this, with uh, about, uh, 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 it's it's not too fast to be honest but it's good enough but the ideal would be to run it with the the largest model but you need special hardware and a special computer for this thank you for watching i hope this helps